Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Place Dead But Alive, Southern England, day number two of our recording here for this particular Spooky October series that we're covering over here. So this will be, what, episode number five, if I'm correct, over here. So we are on day 29, we have no more action points left over. Let's go ahead over here and skip over to next day. Feel bombs. I was woken up in the middle of the night by several explosions. It appeared some zombies made it into our camp and set off to fuel bombs. Oh, good God. Thankfully, I guess we had the bombs right there. Oh, no. We're up to 40%. Was that that high before? Was that That's probably because of the fuel bomb, right? Oh, good God. So, man, I gotta build them again? I mean, that would make sense, obviously, if they're used up already, but come on. Ah, oh, I was hoping for, like, more than one use, really. But hey, at least we were prepared for it. Can you imagine what would happen had we not had the fuel bombs already made, and we got invaded overnight? Oh man, I don't want to find out. So luckily there was that. Um, I guess we want to get this barricade up and running too, right? We need, uh, let's see, 40 times 4. Oh, that's so much. Alrighty. Well, we still got the booby traps, though, right? Yeah, that's, sorry, that's still build. Ideal for decimating intruders. Is that for, like, uh... It's probably for actual bandits, and that's probably for zombies, then? If I had to wager a guess, anyway. Alrighty, well, there you go. Uh, let's see, Lucy wants to talk to us, so let's find out what Lucy has to say here. Thanks a lot for your help. Tom is already feeling a lot better. Well, you know what? Tom's a dick, though, so I don't care if he's feeling better. You know what? I, if you'd be better news for me, if you told me Tom is feeling miserable, then I'd be like, yeah, I've done something good. But Tom feeling good? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. But I guess you're welcome is the only option I have here. I'm just just hit my own microphone just now. Not my microphone, but my headset. Stop it, headset. I need you on. Sorry, Tom's got me apparently really salty and perturbed now. Good job, Tom. I guess you trolled me pretty well. Uh, you know, with all this shit that is going on out here, the zombies, but the people too, helping each other just doesn't seem so seem to come naturally to them. You might be mistaken, but you think she's looking at you in a certain way. Hmm. We're really in your depth. Ask about daughter. Well, over the last few days, the military basically took over, but I've heard that they set up a collection point. I'll mark it on your map. Ooh. Ask about the base. I don't really know much about it. When the electricity went down and our batteries ran out, our brand new digital radios became useless. We never did have access to the frequencies that the military used. Anyway, nobody ever thought that it would be necessary. Ask for help. Sure, we'll help you check it out. We're all in your depth for what you've done. Leading a group of such different people can't be easy. What do, you mean, what do you mean by different people? I like to think that we're a very multicultural, diverse group that are over here trying to struggle to survive, and we apparently have a bunch of races in our group. But that's besides the point. We're still surviving. That's what really matters here. All right, so we have 29 action points, which is actually pretty good. Uh, let's find out about... Uh, does anybody else want to talk here? Manage your party. Anyone want to talk? Have a little talking to? No? Yeah, I don't want to talk to you, you jerk. As everybody's helped... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this new guy, Alex, over here. Apparently, Alex is a VIP, but not the girl that he was with. And let me tell you, the girl that, she was, that he was with? Pretty cutie pie. She was cute. She was a cutie pie. But now we have Alex over here, this guy, who apparently still has acne and everything. Come on, dog. You're, <laughs> you're in college. Stop it already. Uh, you know, if I'm being perfectly honest, this isn't quite how I pictured the zombie apocalypse happening. Zeds aren't nearly as much fun as I was led to believe. Oh, yeah. Really? You don't say. How exactly did you picture it? Why were you even picturing the zombie apocalypse? Well, second question is actually kind of silly. I'm pretty sure that all of us zombie fans have always pictured the zombie apocalypse. Of course, in our little makeup world, we don't really think about all the gruesome things we would probably see. We're just thinking about how you would survive. I've had that talk with many of my friends many a times. Hey guys, did this happen? How would you survive here and now? And then we kind of put like we we paint out a situation based on where we're at. Like if we were at work, if we're at like a at a mall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like basically like here and now, what would you do? And then we just basically picture it out, right? But it's always fun. We don't really think about like all the people that would literally die in front of our eyes and all the panicking and everything. So. Whatever. Let's exact. Let's ask him how he would picture it, though. Oh, I don't know. The games I used to play all made it look so easy. Point the gun, shoot, and everyone celebrates and praises the stalwart hero of the land. Alex is laughing. What those games never did show was just how boring this all is, you know? I mean, you tell me a month ago I'd be staring in my very own zombie game today, or starring in my own very zombie game today. I just would have been gobsmacked. Now I get here and it's like 20 hours of scavenging for food and supplies and in a minute of absolute object terror. <laughs> Did you ever play Dead But Alive? The game is now becoming really self-aware of itself. 
This isn't a game, dog. All right, easy, man. I know that. Ah, <sighs> fast clicking. No worries. It just helps me calm myself a bit when I get stressed to think of things I used to do. Just to remind myself of what life was like before it all went topsy-turvy. I didn't mean anything by it. Well, anyway, you let me know if you need anything. I still don't feel like I'm pulling my weight around here, so call me whenever you need to. Well, uh, I really wasn't snapping at you f by saying it's not a game, but you know, apparently this guy's really sensitive about how you talk to him. Alright, so I guess we now go out. Eh? We talked to everybody we need to, and we know what we need over here for the fences. We need more supplies, obviously. Um, there's a few objective pointers over here. Oh, you know what? These are probably the ones that Lucy marked for us. Huh. So, we might want to actually get those up and running, because I see no supplies over here either, right? Uh, foot's looking alright. Fuel could be a little bit more useful. Let's jump down to here really quickly, just for the fuel. We'll walk over here. We acquire 12 food, 1 ammunition, and 5 fuel. Alright, not too bad. And let's see, we got no fight there as well, it doesn't seem, so it's fine. No potential injuries, which is always pretty good. I guess we'll come over to one of these objective points, so we'll come over to... this one here. What is this one about? This is where the camp should be, right? Yes, U.S. forces. I wonder if there's any survivors still here. We'll walk over here. Lucy gave me the location of a collection point set up by the military. Apparently, it's some kind of military base near Bovington. I remember visiting the tank museum close by. It was a PR thing some desk jockey at the MOD, Ministry of Defense, dreamed up. They wanted some officers with combat experience to give a talk. I talked, though, right? Not about honor and medals, but about the blood of your uniform after your buddy standing right beside you. It's blown to pieces by an Iraqi roadside bomb. They didn't ask me to give any more talks after that. <laughs> I would probably imagine so. When we got there, we immediately lost hope. There were zombies all over the place. The gate had been wrenched from the gateway. It looked like the work of explosives but from a distance. I couldn't really tell. The burned out van close to it would explain it. Car bomb. I'd seen far too many of those in Baghdad. Alrighty, you lose 4 AP. Let's do my, uh, what's my Steve voice again? It's the very scummy voice, right? Let's see here. Okay, that's it. Nobody living there, nobody helping us there. We can go home. Let's check it out. There might still be somebody, someone hidden, who could use our help. Sure, but why is that my problem? <laughs> Team up with not. The old stupid cow will surely agree and you both can waltz in there and get yourself killed. It'll save me a lot of headaches in the future. Steve! Stay silent. Well, let's go ahead and, um, you know, reprimand Steve yet again. Of course, I didn't expect much help from you. You only have your pretty daughter in mind anyway. We might find some weapons there, Steve. Big weapons. Automatic rifles. Maybe even a bazooka. Maybe even a bazooka. You know, bazooka is something you call rocket launches when you're a kid. Do people really call them bazookas when you're growing up? I don't remember. Like, I've never called... I mean... Maybe I have in passing, but I remember when I was a kid, there were always bazookas to me, you know? It sounded like, you know, something like crazy, like you're like, oh, I want to get a bazooka, and like, you know, that was the thing as a kid. Now that I grew up, like, you know, they're, they're just rocket launchers, you know? Maybe Metal Slug taught me, rocket lawn chair, not rocket launcher, rocket lawn chair, you know? Like, you just sit back on the lawn and relax in your chair. Anyway, maybe even a bazooka, she says. Wouldn't that be something to play with, hmm? It's tempting. Almost as much as your little ass and those little... Oh, God almighty. This is like... I was just reading. I wasn't expecting to go down this bad. Jesus Christ, dog. That's crass. Steve, you're being crass now. Almost as much as your little ass and those tight panties. Good God. <laughs> Maybe you could up your offer a bit. Jesus, Steve. You're an asshole, Steve. Yeah, I agree. I know. <laughs> but I'm still alive, aren't I? Must be doing something right. You can stay here if you like, Steve, but I'm going in there. And I don't even think about making and don't even think about making a comment about my ass or I'll break your nose, I promise you that. Fine. Let's go. But I get first dibs on any guns we find. And Lucy, don't worry about me and your ass. You're not really my type, you know. Oh, yeah, I know what he means. Uh, he's racist, Lucy. Don't pay attention to him. I'm sure you have just as fine an ass as Caroline does, okay? That's a compliment, mind you. Renate is rolling her eyes. I might have guessed. What? Never mind. <laughs> oh, I gotta say, the, the, the interactions sometimes, albeit sometimes a bit, like, you know, crass, they're, they're kind of interesting. I like the story aspect of the game for a fact. 
All right, day 30. We went in, Steve had the idea of a smaller group moving around the fence from the outside, screaming and making as much noise as they can. The idea worked well when most of the zombies gathering at the fence, trying to knock it over, but the fence held. Says a lot for the UK military workmanship, or important, or imported from Korea, more likely. Thanks to Steve's distraction, we only had to knock a few zombies on the head on our way in. Our hopes of looting some serious military hardware came to nothing, though. This place has been stripped clean. We didn't find any clue to what happened here either, except for some mutilated corpses that didn't look like the work of zombies. What happened here? Hell, they even had tanks! I wonder if this is where the bandits were at. It looks very familiar to that, doesn't it? Shit. Why? Why is this over here censored, but the game so far has not been, you know, hasn't had much of an issue, like, you know, saying the N-word when it comes to, you know, African Americans, and it, it it's always constantly cursing. Now suddenly it's censored? <laughs> Am I? Is it just me? Right? You guys get it, right? I mean, why is this suddenly censored now? Whatever. Uh, I guess I'll try to do the non-censored version. Shit, how can this be? Not a... Well, actually, I guess that it's not everything shit, right? This is uh, probably the F one. Not a fucking single piece of shit. Rifle here. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just over here guesstimating. Swearing won't make it any better. Oh, come on. Stop going so fast. You like Sonic the Hedgehog scr scrolling over here? Okay, that's it. I'm going to strangle you to dead and hack you to pieces like this piece of shit. Steve makes a step towards Renat. Oh, good. He's really going to kill Grandma? Renee looks frightened. Lucy pulls out her gun to Steve's head. Go right ahead. You're not so... You're not so peace-loving after all, I guess. Not when it comes to scumbags. Okay, okay, ladies, relax. I'm just joking around, okay? Maybe we shouldn't... Oh. Was that him? Maybe we shouldn't let him get away with everything? Why is his mouth still moving? Why is he talking to himself in the third person now? <laughs> Steve's just going crazy. Steve's eyes widen. Oh, shit. That's right. You should be afraid because... Not you, sugar. Over there. Take cover. Oh. Automatic rifle fire stirs up the dirt around you and your group. Who's that? Probably not zombies. I don't think they use guns, Grandma. Military, I guess. Saw a uniform. Why are they shooting at us? They could have killed someone. That's probably the intention they had. I doubt it. He wasn't shooting to kill. Oh. Oh, sorry, Lucy. Hey, over there! Dorset Police! I want to talk! Who are you? Did you destroy the base? Who the hell is this guy? This bright spot doesn't really think he'll get an honest answer does to that, does he? Shh! No, we didn't. We've come here to find the collection point. Who are you? Uh, let me give a voice to Mike over here. What can we do with Mike? What kind of voice are we looking for Mike here? Uh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Let me <laughs> Sounds like a surfer name. I'm going to give him a surfer voice. My name's Mike! Are you with a unit? I'm not sure what a surfer is doing in the military, but let's not ask questions here. I was! Cheshire Regiment from Staffordshire. Okay, I'm sorry. Southern England people, or just English people in general, for just butchering all these locations, mind you. It's just me now. The others, they're all... Stay calm, Mike. Talk to me. The Cheshire Regiment, is that part of the Prince of Wales Division? Right. How do you know that? A former boyfriend of mine served in the Mercian Regiment of that division once. I don't want to interrupt you two lovebirds, but we can continue to somewhere else... Your shots have attracted some company. Okay, I won't shoot, but no funny moves. Let's get out of here, and then we'll talk. Um, speaking of, yeah, he's right. We're up to 40, and those shots probably rose that up a bit higher. Uh, Mike's shots had attracted a zombie crowd, which found the sound of gunfire much more interesting than the obvious diversion from our team outside the fence. We all gathered together some distance away. Mike explained that his unit was stationed here to hold off the zombie advance until the remaining civilians could be moved to safety, until they were recently attacked by bandits. The first they knew was a massive explosion that seemed to come out of nowhere. Mike reckoned it must have been a bomb smuggled up to the gate inside a truck. The bandits then used fireworks to attract the zombies, and the base was soon overrun. While the troops were still busy with the zombies, the bandits attacked and overwhelmed them. The entire unit was slaughtered. Uh, Mike said he must have been knocked down in the fighting and left for dead. <laughs> ah, that's a pun. As there was no one around when he woke up, 
It sounds a bit far-fetched, but much the same thing happened to me, so I have no reason to doubt him. Those bandits must have already been pretty well armed to take on the military, but after taking the base, they would now surely be armed to the teeth. We'll have to be particularly careful from now on. I asked him about Emily, and he told me he had seen a little girl fitting her description among the civilians. He remembered seeing the bandits ra um, rounding people up, and though just what they intended to do with their prisoners is something I'd rather not think about. I must find some bandits and rescue Emily. If I can take out the scumbags while doing it, all the better. Mike doesn't know the location of their hideout, but we agreed that... Such a mighty group mustn't be known somewhere among the survivors in the area. Alrighty. So I think we probably have Mike in the party now too. We have 17 action points left over. Um, there's another main storyline um, point over here as well. Another addition to the group as well. We have 52 food. We're still looking for more supplies though. So what I'm thinking we do... Well, we need some more fuel to make um, wood shopping happen, right? So let's come over here. Pick up some... Mm, yeah, it's going to be enough for one wood round right so we'll walk over here and we will grab we will grab there's a fight um am <coughs> sorry about that not sure what just happened there ammunition two fuel six and four materials not too bad not too bad indeed let's go over to the camp now somebody was wounded alex was wounded ammo plus two nobody could die though right no debts no debts no debts no debts no debts all right good uh, let's come over here and do our collection of the old woody wood. Boom. And that's going to bring us up to 22. We're looking to get up to 40 so we can get the barricades up and running too. So I think now we're fine. We have a bunch of bullets. Good God, when did that happen? Does anybody else want to talk over here? Alex wants a little talking to? I never gave Alex a voice, did I? Eh, whatever. At this point, if I missed the voice, then we missed the voice. Uh, my dad always warned me all those arts classes I was taking were a waste of time, although I'm not sure what sort of classes would help in a situation like this. Zed Hunting 101 wasn't anywhere in the curriculum, I don't think. That would be a pretty cool um, class, let me tell you. Uh, that's all you had to say? Oh, you have more to say. Why don't you spit it out one go? Oh, jeez, mate, I don't even know what to say. I can't believe those bastards took your daughter. This whole situation is just bloody mad. And how do you think I feel? Relax, panicking won't help anyone. Right. I mean, relax though? How can anyone relax at a time like this? I try to calm myself down, but then something like this happens and I don't know what to do. I mean, it seems like just last week I was in my dorm, faffing about. Faffing about? Is that like an English terminology? To me it sounds like he was just over there, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and now here I am fighting corpses and trying to help some guy rescue his daughter, who was just kidnapped by lunatics. I'm not equipped for this. I don't know how to handle this. Then just shut up and let us handle it. You're handling yourself well, keep it up, we need you. Yeah, sure, I'll be the pragmatic leader that supports his people, you know? Really? You mean it? I try and all, but I feel like I'm just faking it all. I'm clueless out there most of the time. I don't know how much help I am really, but I appreciate you saying that nonetheless. I'll try not to let you down. Good. Whatever I can do to help to get your daughter back, just let me know. I may not have your skill at combat, but I promise to give my all. I owe you that much. Yeah, good. Just, you know, keep your head up, soldier. That's all you have to do. Maybe at some point we'll sacrifice you or something. <laughs> yeah, let's be honest here. It might just have to come down to that. All right, so we have to talk to Surfer Mike. Get the old Surfer voice happening here. I think some other group are excited about this whole thing. I mean, society is cocked up beyond belief right now, but some people seem to be enjoying themselves. You know what I mean? I actually do, Surfer Mike. <laughs> Surfer Mike. I don't even know why I come up with these things sometimes, but there you go. Uh, life is certainly a bit more exciting these days. I prefer the security of knowing I wouldn't die tomorrow. Yeah, let's go with the first one. Mike is laughing. A bit? You see? What were you doing before to make this only a bit more exciting? I suppose you probably just forgot to mention your former career as a lion tamer. See, I'm a soldier, everyone working together, fighting for the same cause, defending each other when we needed. Now all this happens in the UK. In the fucking UK. And see, now the game doesn't censor itself. I, I don't get it. The game is like very bipolar about censorship. In the fucking UK. And well, I don't know. It just frightens me to see that my home must become a combat zone. <laughs> By the way, that voice is killing my throat. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not used to, I'm not used to like bringing it that high up and so excited, you know? Anyway, um, that's everybody there. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, we're done. We're done here, we uh, just go to next day. So day 31. Uh-oh. 
Booby traps. Last night, some zombies managed to enter our camp, but they set off the booby traps we had placed. Good God. So our traps are being triggered every single day now. That's quite worrisome. That is quite worrisome indeed. It means that the zombie attacks are becoming more frequent now. Oh, man. I'm over here trying to build up for the barricade, but apparently I can because I have to use this over here. Ten supplies for this one, right? Um, We can make both of them happen, oddly enough. Well, actually... We need another day for fuel bombs to restore AP, but we can make the booby traps here for today, and then tomorrow we can make the fuel bombs. You know what I'm thinking we do? We go for the booby traps only, and we'll just sacrifice the 10 um, supplies for that one. Yeah, so we'll build the booby traps for a fact. That's fine. We're down to 11. You know what I think what we do? We're not going to go out today. I think we just stay in home. Oh, actually, we might have to. Our food's a bit low now. Let's see what Caroline wants for once, uh... Do you ever think in the world? Do you ever think the world will go back to the way it was before all this, or are we just struggling to survive from here on out? Uh, I'm sure this is only temporary. It's got to keep the spirits up, you know. You think so? That sounds nice. Not sure how likely that all is, but at least it sounds nice. Uh, as I was going for, just sounding nice. I wanted a family someday, you know, husbands, kids, a nice farm of my very own to raise them on. I don't need much to be happy. Even that seems crazy now. You imagine raising kids and all this? Oi, Tommy! Be good and eat your vegetables and also make sure you're home by curfew or your face could get chewed off. Of course, maybe I find the right man and I might be able to change my mind. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, Carolyn, are you saying that I might be the right man? Because if so, <laughs> let me tell you, baby. I'm the right man. I think Steve might be single. Ugh. Listen to this guy. You deserve to be happy. Thank you. You do too. Who knows, maybe I already found someone who fits that bill. Ah. Ah, yeah, <laughs> you know. I'm alright with that. I, apparently we lost um, Cutie Blonde, so I can't really, you know, spit game at her. So we'll spit game on Caroline. It's either that or Grandma. I mean, Grandma's not a bad look at herself, let's be honest here. But, you know, she's a sweet grandmother. That's all she is to me, really. Alright, so we might have to go out here after all. Um, hmm, mm hmm for food anyway. So, let's go down over here for some food. 10 AP, that's going to be all of it. So no supplies for today after all. Hopefully we can find some here. So we noticed several corpses on the side of the road. And, yeah. We got 13 food and one ammunition as well. Somebody might have been hurt. We'll find out soon. But hey, at least we got 13 food. It was actually pretty good. Let's, uh, ammunition one. Let's go on back to the camp. Oh, nobody got hurt to my knowledge. Great. Show camp. And we're basically done here. Let's go ahead and skip forward. Booby traps were set off again. Some robbers tried to sneak into our camp. Oh, good God. Robbers now? This is no good, man. We're being attacked way too frequently now. Which means I can't get my barricade up and running because we keep using the supplies to make the booby traps. Oh, man. Suddenly, I, I thought I was kind of just breezing by first, but now the game's just th kind of throwing everything at me. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot, and we will come back next time. We're at 31 action points, 35 food. Man, we need supplies for that barricade as soon as possible. We'll see how it goes. I will catch you next time.